Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'd like to bring you some stock analysis and also a short five minute trading lesson at the end. So please stay tuned. So a quick recap of the previous video, we did a due diligence uh, and a news update for ticker symbol CTRM, Castor Maritime, so please refer back to that previous video. And we also did a quick update on ticker symbol OCGN going forward, which I think is going to have great potential. So please refer back to that as well for ticker symbol OCGN. Okay, so today's stock analysis is for ticker symbol CTXR, Citius Pharmaceuticals. This is a stock that I have carried out a detailed due diligence video previously, so please refer back to that for more in-depth information about the company itself. This is a company that has just recently been making some tremendous movements back and it's recovered from the previous falls in share price that a lot of, a lot of stocks did have. Uh, however, before we get started on the uh, stock, I would like to just give a quick shout out to Bodrum. And he said, uh, if we have a look at the screen there, Ali, I'm sure I, th I found CTXR through you. It's just about to take off. Very bullish on this uh, as a potential 10x over the next few years. Could be 3x by the end of the year. Are you still in it? Question mark. So let's deal with that and let's deal with this stock. Uh, I'm also very bullish on this stock as well. Okay, so let's start by looking at a recap of uh, the company itself. So about Citius Pharmaceuticals. So this is taken from their website. So we can see the headline here is they're looking at pursuing a new standard of care. So the trading on the NASDAQ at ticker symbol CTXR specialty pharmaceutical com company looking at the development and commercialization of important new drug products for growing markets. So let's have a look at the key company highlights at the bottom. They have a very important minor lock uh, product with advanced phase three clinical studies. So this was covered in depth in my previous due diligence video. The minor lap, minor wrap, sorry, uh, is a bioabsorbable film impregnated with minocyclical and refempin for reducing acute inflammation and microbiological uh, colonization of breast tissue expanders used in breast reconstruction surgeries following mastectomies. So more information on that will be released soon through the company website. So there have been some positive developments with regard to this, which I'm gonna share with you shortly. Okay, so before we go into the breaking news, I'd like to just give you a quick recap of the overview of the three key sections for this business that we as investors uh, need, need to know. So the first one that we've just looked at is the minor lot product. This is a registered trademark. It used, it's used as a solution to treat patients with catheter-related bloodstream infections, especially relevant for cancer patients receiving therapy. So that is something that has had some positive developments. Uh, we're going to look at them shortly. They also have a CITI002 formulation, and this is used to provide anti-inflammatory and anesthetic relief to individuals suffering from uh, hemorrhoids. So obviously hemorrhoids affect approximately 5% of the population in the US and that represents 10 million, uh, in it approximately 10 million patients. So that's the CITI002 uh, innovation that they are looking at. And the third one, they also, third important thing for investors, they also, this company is also looking at part of it partnering opportunities. So these are dedicated to building this pharmaceutical company through commercialization and innovation of cost-effective products that address market opportunities. So the company is certainly positive in terms of generating revenue growth, uh, which is a good sign for investors. Okay, so let's have a look at the current developments in terms of breaking news. So this is an article dated uh, April the 29th, 2021 from Yahoo Finance and the key headline here is Citius Pharmaceuticals reports strong clinical community engagement during minor lock phase three trial related webinar. So good news there, good positive headline. Let's just have a look at quick look at what's happened with the recent uh, development in terms of the share price. On the close of Friday, it was up in excess of 4%. On the week, it was up in excess of 22% and on the month in excess of 18% and over the year well up well in excess of 115%. So the stock is certainly going in the right direction. However, it is a penny stock, uh, so you have to be careful in terms of using your stop loss as well. So let's delve a little bit deeper into this article. 
Okay, so the article is providing us an update in terms of the phase three trial for Minolock. So let's have a look at the final paragraph there. And the, and the quotation is, we are encouraged to see a strong and growing interest within the clinical community in Minolock as a potential treatment option for patients with CRBSI and CLABSI. So there are currently no FDA approved therapies to uh, salvage infected CBCs. Uh, this was st stated by Dr. My Myron uh, Kujman, an executive pres vice president and chief medical officer of Citius Pharmaceuticals. So that's a very, very important statement in terms of saying there are currently no FDA approved therapies for this uh, area. So very, very good news for this actual stock itself in terms of going forward. I'm very, very confident that FDA approval is imminent. Okay, so let's continue with the article and look at why CRBSI and CLABSI are important in terms of uh, treating these uh, conditions. So the first one is looking at the, they're offering a life-saving vascular access portal in patients requiring long-term intravenous therapies. Uh, so that's good in terms of uh, the numbers. We're looking at approximately 7 million are used annually to treat about 500,000 pa US patients just in the US alone. So 7% become infected, leading to serious life-threatening infections. So that's something that is obviously important in, in, in terms of being able to treat that. So it has been shown that antibiotics alone are not uh, good enough to treat this. Uh, so the CVC, there are currently no approved therapies for salvaging uh, this um, infected central venous catheters. So the standard of care in the management of CRBS, it consists only of removing the CVCs and replacing it with a new cat catheter. So the procedure currently is very costly and 15 to 20% of the procedures associated with significant morbidity. So it's not good news overall in terms of the outcome. However, uh, if we have good developments in uh, this uh, area, then obviously that's, that's great news going forward for the business and also for the share price. Okay, so let's have a look at the final part of this article, which is dealing with the minor lock, which is uh, the most important in terms of current development. So the minor lock, as we've said, is a registered trademark, it's an antibiotic lock solution being developed as a therapy in patients uh, with bloodstream infections. So obviously it's a very important need. There are currently no approved therapies for salvaging infected CVCs. The minor lock can be used in combination with antibiotics to preserve uh, access and avoid complications and avoid morbidities associated with catheter removal and reinsertion. So the minor lock is currently enrolling subjects into the phase three trial uh, and the FDA has granted minor lock uh, fast track designation. So that is very, very important in terms of investors and also for the business going forward with this fast track designation in terms of the potential for the stock going forward we have seen positive gains so that's why it's good in terms of people who invested into this stock and also i think going forward there are strong bullish signs okay and to finish off i'd like to just give a, an overall picture of the business in terms of a swot analysis so the swot analysis is looking at the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats anybody who's studied business or marketing will be aware of this so let's just have a quick summary of the key strengths for Citius pharmaceuticals so they have unique products so it's not you know kind of there's no similar products uh, that we can see in terms of what they are offering so it's good in terms of very limited competition They've just had a $76.5 million injection in terms from a share offering. So the company will be cash rich. Uh, their balance sheet is healthy. So in terms of assets, they are very, very strong. Uh, it's not a heavily shorted stock, so that's good. And we have seen that the, shock, the stock sorry, has made a good recovery quite recently as well. Uh, in terms of opportunities, it's, dedicate, it's a dedicated to building a further pharmaceutical company. So that's a good in terms of a revenue stream for the future. And that is also something that I expect to happen within the next year. They have patents for unique and innovative products. We've seen that with the minor lock uh, that they have, which is a registered trademark. In terms of weaknesses, no revenue. No revenue is because they haven't had FDA third final approval yet. However, it is being fast tracked. So I think that should be no longer an issue uh, in the short term once, once the FDA approval happens. It is still a penny stock, so it is high risk and it will require uh, stop loss 
uh, and the threats obviously it's low volume so it can be very volatile so the price can go up or down quite significantly so it's very important when you trade this stock to have your stop loss as well in terms of 10 or 15 percent and finally there is always the risk of phase three failure however i'm quite confident that that is not going to happen okay so in terms of uh, an entry point for this at time of filming the price is, uh, was currently around two dollars and twenty so anybody who's not invested in this stock and looking to to make an end make a play for this uh, certainly i would consider an entry around the two dollar mark going forward if you do achieve profits in excess of 20 percent so that would be a good opportunity to also to take profit so any entry point below two dollars at time of filming would be a good entry point okay so it's now time for lesson of the day and we're going to continue with our series on chart analysis so today we're going to look at um a chart analysis with a title cut with handle so if we can have a look at this here we can see the green line represents the share price uh, you'll be able to see um, a gray line quite faint there in the in that is shaped in the form of a cup at the top right hand side you'll see the handle at the bottom you'll see the shape of the cup and at the bottom at the top sorry uh, level with the breakout area you will be able to see a dotted line so uh, what does this uh, shape indicate in terms of a chart? So if we have a look at the bottom there, cut with a handle pattern gets its name from the obvious pattern in terms of how it looks uh, on the chart. The cup is a curved U shape with the handle sloped slightly downwards. In general, the right hand side of the diagram has low trading volume and it can last for seven to eight weeks, sometimes even longer. Uh, so the key thing to be bear in mind, once you get this shape, uh, the general indications are uh, in terms of a breakout of the share price. So we'll have a look at the red circle there. That's the area just after the handle has been formed. So in terms of analyzing charts, when we, when we see this signal, it's not going to be in an exact form of a cup. It, it, you know, it could be a bit more jagged. It could be a bit more of a V shape as well. Uh, however, when you get that kind of a U shape in, or a V shape, and then a little bit of consolidation that's uh, generally the sign of a cut with handle and that is a bullish signal uh, and it can also indicate breakout in terms of the share price so it's very good to know when you're looking at the uh, charts so i hope that helps thank you very much for joining me and see please stay tuned